My opening batsmen are Sunil Gavaskar of India and Gordon Greenwich of the West Indies. Uh, Gavaskar was a very correct player, but also if you bowled him a half volley in the first over, he'd hit it for four. Uh, Gordon Greenwich was an attacking opening batsman, um, wonderful stroke player, but also very correct. Number three, Greg Chappell. Beautiful, elegant player, stood tall, all the strokes again, excellent player. At number four, the one and only, Viv Richards. The batsman that most put fear into the heart of bowlers, more than any other player I played against him. People were nervous of bowling against him. Number five, Ian Chappell. Probably because I think he'd be an excellent captain of the team. If you want someone to play for your life, I should think Ian, Ian Chappell would be as good as anyone. Number six, Ian Botham. He was a great hitter, a great hitter, a very competent batsman. Number seven, Alan Knott. I think he's the best wicketkeeper I ever saw, played with or against. Number eight, I think I'm going for Imran Khan, uh, partly because he was a different type of bowler from the other fast bowlers I've got. He swung the ball in, he was fast and hostile, and a, a fine attacking batsman. Number nine, Abdul Qadir a leg spinner from Pakistan. He was a marvellous, flamboyant, effervescent spin bowler. Number 10 is Dennis Lilly, simply the best fast bowler I played against, who would bowl just as fast and as well for you at six o'clock in the evening as he would at 11 o'clock in the morning. And finally, another difficult choice, but it would be Andy Roberts. I think he was the sort of the master for the West Indian fast bowlers, a person they all looked up to, the one of the, the very first of the great fast bowlers of that era. So that's my all-time 11, or at least my, my time 11. What's yours? <laughs>